Hey everybody, this is Scott Campbell from Morris Home Inspections. Uh, I've had some arguments with some builders and some questions from some clients about kickout flashing on brick. Clearly here you can see there is no kickout flashing, all right? Look what's happening here. See the green? Yes, that's water, right? It's staying wet. See this mortar joint? It's beginning to deteriorate. It gets even worse underneath. Look here what you have. You have a downspout from a high roof emptying onto the low roof. This is in the exact same area where that kickout flashing is missing. So all the water from the high roof is coming down this downspout and emptying right here. Here's a little illustration of what kickout flashing looks like when it's installed. And here are your issues. This is wainscoting in a stairway. See the bubbles? See the patching on the ceiling? See the tape seam starting to go? See the big nail pop in the wall? Why do you think all that's happening? Well, that kickout flashing is not installed. And water has deteriorated those mortar joints on those bricks because of the volume of it pouring out of that downspout and it's getting in the wall and it's rotting out the, the wainscoting. They've patched the ceiling. They've got bad tape seams that are starting to go. And by the way, these are in three separate rooms at that corner. And moisture typically causes those nails to deteriorate and rust, which gives you nail pop. So should you have kick out flashing on your brick wall cladding outside? You absolutely should.